So in this video, uh, we will look into in detail about the hotfix branching strategy, which is typically used whenever you have a already product, already li live application, you're adding features as well as you're addressing production bugs. And uh, we will also get hands on with to understand how a typical developer would go through merging the code and uh, developing the features as well as fixing bugs uh, and, and ensuring the releases are stable and uh, merging is, is also done to ensure the code changes are not lost. In this section, now we will look into the third and the last uh, branching strategy, the hotfix branching. Hotfix branching is generally applicable and useful when you have an already live application wherein you are developing new features as well as fixing production bugs. So which, when you get a production bug, it is expected to fix that immediately uh, in rather than wait for the next upcoming release, this could be uh, two weeks from now or a month from now. So hotfix will allow you to manage uh, bug fixing in the production as well as adding new features without hampering any of the work. So a typical uh, hotfix branching involves your bare minimum up branch. And then for each of your features, you could go ahead and create a feature branch from the develop. And for every bug in the production that you're trying to fix, you create a new branch, call it as hotfix branch from the develop. So whenever a bug is fixed in the hotfix branch, the branch can, can uh, immediately be merged into the develop branch, uh, which can then go through testing and validation, go to production without having to wait for the feature one release to be ready. Now, when a feature one is ready, uh, it could go ahead and merge the code from develop, uh, thereby ensuring the code which was done in the hotfix is not lost or it is merged with the develop. So in this scenario, you could have multiple features being developed while you have a dedicated team to address the production issues and both can go parallel and develop the uh, features as well as fix the bugs in production. So we will now look at uh, how a developer would uh, work in a hotfix branching environment. So going back to the branches in the repository, the bare minimum branching strategy of uh, main develop and QA has been has is part of here. Now let me go ahead and create a feature one branch which is based on develop. So now I have a feature one branch. Imagine I'm developing a feature uh, and I've started to work on the feature that is required. So going back to uh, command git clone and uh, let me copy this uh, repository i will say clone and uh, now i have the git branch cd and i will say uh, git checkout feature one so now uh, I'm working on this feature one changes so example. Uh, so I will again say local changes from feature one branch in hotfix. Right. So now I could go ahead and do commit add I will do git commit add git commit feature changes and then git push. So now imagine uh, the there's a bug or there's a production bug that needs to be addressed uh, 
while the feature is still being developed. So the first thing I will do now is go into develop and say hotfix bug one. Create a new branch from develop again. And then now I can go here uh, into uh, git branching and I'll say git fetch. So minus hyphen P would uh, also refresh the branch details. If you just say fetch, it will fetch the latest code changes of the current branch. Uh, by, by appending hyphen P, you'll be able to get the branch details. Now I'll say git checkout and I'll say hotfix. So I'm right now in the hotfix bug one branch. Now, while the feature one is getting developed, I could still go ahead and uh, fix this bug. Uh, if I go back to my main.cs, now that I am in uh, hotfix bug branch, which is from the develop, uh, I can say local changes to fix bug one, right? I'll go ahead and git again add. git commit bug fixes and git push so now what i have done here is a developer has committed few changes to the feature one branch and he got information about a bug in production he quickly moved to the production bug fixed the bug and then now he's going back to uh, now i can say check out feature one. So now, I can, now the developer will go back and work on the feature one. How does it look on the server with these changes is I have, going back to branches, now I have the feature one branch and if I go to main.cs, here I can see the changes which I've done in the feature one branch, local changes from feature. But if I go to the hotfix, I will see the local changes to fix bug one. So the changes which I've done in the feature one branch are not available in the hotfix branch and vice versa, right? Now, though feature one is not yet ready, it is still yet to be completed and my bug is ready and it's fixed, I can go ahead and create a pull request from hotfix to develop, right? And then I'll say create, I'll say approve and complete. So what it means is while the features are still getting developed, a production bug which needed an immediate fix has been uh, committed and pushed, which can then which can now be deployed into the production uh, without impacting the existing feature development that is available. So there's a typical scenario or typical environment where a hotfix branch can help you to work on features as well as support the production bugs to ensure there is a consistent release and a working product at any given point of time.